In this video, we are manipulating people to do things that we want them to, like for the shopkeeper to go into the back room so we can rob the place blind. To get this perk, you have to do a specific quest line, which I'm going to talk about, but it is completely free. You don't have to put any skill points into it whatsoever, and it's a brilliant, brilliant quest that you should be doing as soon as possible because it is quite lengthy as well. Before we get into it and talk about the quest and stuff, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, all that fun, good stuff. And in the video, you probably already have seen a red terminal that I approached and it gives you a job application. Now, the job application will ask you a bunch of questions. I don't think it really matters um, what you answer. I think it just changes the conversations you might have when you go for your job interview. But when you do go for your job interview, this sets off a whole big long quest, which can be up to four hours long where you will go through espionage and finding secrets out to stealth gameplay, which is, you know, really rare in this game and you kind of have to stealth. The rewards you get from this quest line are twofold. One, the secret hidden perk. Well, not really, because you get that, but it's a it's an early version of the perk. You don't have to put loads of skill points into the tree, which is manipulation, which means you can control people's actions. And you'll also get a pretty cool apparel outfit, which provides you with 25% less chance of being caught by people so when you're sneaking and stealthy you have this operative suit on you're less likely to get caught it's pretty damn cool and definitely worth the time put into this quest now I'm not going to try to give out spoilers of this quest something might slip out so I apologize but for the most part this quest is super interesting it's like a who's done it but not with murder more like espionage and corporate secrets and stuff you get sent all over the place to loads of different buildings and facilities you end up on a spaceship at one point like there's just so much interaction in this quest you're going to meet a whole bunch of really quirky funny people as well as some really serious top top board member type people and the idea is is for you to work out what is going on and that's you know all i can say about it i don't think there's any right or wrong answers or any right or wrong way to play the actual missions and stuff but honestly, if you're going to get involved with this type of themed quest line, playing it stealth is always the best way. I will say, though, that one of the stealth missions is so difficult to not get caught. You have like I spent about probably about an extra hour than I should have trying to play it stealthily. In the end, I just got angry and just started shooting everything up. But you won't lose the quest for doing that. But you will have some different dialogue and conversation. All throughout this as well, you get credits, you get items like med packs and digipicks and things of that nature because they want you to hack into things or pick lock into things. So they provide you with that. There's also times where you may have to spend money to get information. You'll get that money back over the credits that you get from the quest, but you can haggle people down. You can change their minds. There's loads of stuff you can do. Persuading is a big part of this mission quest line too and definitely worth investing your time into especially to get the perk and the free apparel and i just wanted to point that out to you if you haven't seen it yet if you don't know what this job application was you just remember doing it ages ago and you'd think oh god i wonder what that will be or you forgot about it this is why you need to do it without a shadow of a doubt the best quest i've played so far and absolutely loved it from start to finish what like it's a it's a tip of the cap to starfield for the kind of interactions the characters the voice acting is phenomenal in this game but these characters really really push the boundaries on voice acting in my opinion the quests and what you have to do is just it's just mwah. make sure you go and do this quest line especially to get those stuff but that's it anyway thank you for watching i've been easy now you guys have been awesome